Hi, this is Keith Juicenup reporting from Salford and if you haven't guessed it already it's St George's Day the 23rd of April in case you weren't aware now looking around you may be forgiven for thinking how is it it's not St George's Day I don't see any St George's flags just follow me through this door and round the corner we have a St George's Day celebration fit for St George himself uh, I believe that you're doing a welcome to afternoon entertainment uh, later on for this for this event Probably getting them doing the knees up if any of them can stand up you know uh. <laughs> okay we're here now with uh, Denise who's an advocate for age concern so what does St George's Day mean to you Denise it to me, it means that I'm proud to be British. There is a campaign at the moment to try and get St George's Day a bank holiday. Would you uh, would you sign that petition? I've already signed it, actually. So I'm hoping. So have I. That by next year, then it will be a bank holiday. That, that's my dream too. <laughs> Anything to get another day off work. Well, is this is it. This... <laughs> We're going to interview this nice young gentleman here. I'll let him introduce himself. And your name is uh, Tommy Burke. How long have you lived in Salford, Tommy? 19... I'd say rough guess about 19, October 1954. So you're a relatively newcomer then, eh? Well, you could say that. And uh, the community spirit is all over Salford, just excellent in my mind. Friendship, we can't go beyond it. Wonderful people. Right, thank you very much, Tommy. I've enjoyed speaking to you. Thank you. This is Nellie Blanks, Mrs. Nellie Blanks. Well, I lived uh, north, Cheetah uh, Mill Road, for a few years, and then came down to Gromley Street, and I lived in Gromley Street. I was 18 then, and I'm 94 now. Then I got married at 22, I moved up to Castlewood Road and I've been there ever since. So that makes it 72 years. So you can still add up them flower, can't you? Thanks very much, Nelly. Thanks for your time and your patience. And keep well.